Delaware's primary race for the 2022 midterm elections is almost here. Delaware is among the last states to hold its primary on September 13. Polls will be open from 7 a.m. and to late p.m. on Tuesday. Here's what to watch for in the upcoming election. The auditor's race is the only statewide primary, and it's also the most interesting. Incumbent Kathy McGuinness is squaring off against lawyer and accountant Lydia York. McGuinness is the first statewide elected official to be charged with crimes and found guilty. She has denied any wrongdoing and has told voters she is the victim of an unfair, political prosecution. In a rare move, the Delaware Democratic Party isn't supporting the incumbent McGuinness. It's backing York, who has raised significantly more money than the auditor in a short period of time. Delaware politics, what happens if auditor Kathy McGuinness is removed from office then wins the election? Things could get complicated, and weird, if McGuinness wins re-election. Governor John Carney said he would not consider removing McGuinness until she is sentenced, which has not happened. It's unclear what the governor will do if Delaware Democrats vote to keep McGuinness in office. Though every General Assembly lawmaker is up for re-election this year, not everyone has a primary challenger. There are eight primary races involving incumbents, many of whom have been in office for more than a decade. A majority of these races involve Democrats. One of the more high-profile Democratic primaries will likely be the District of Representative Larry Mitchell, the House Majority Whip, who is being challenged by Progressive DeShanna Neal. Another race to watch involves Senator Colin Benini, a conservative Dover Republican who has been in office for nearly 30 years. He is facing two Republican challengers, Eric Buxton and Kim Betters. Midterms, will Republicans flip the House in midterm elections? These 12 races will tell the story. Two Wilmington lawmakers, Raps. Stephanie T. Bolden and Namdi Chukwuoka, have primary opponents, who entered the race this summer, 